Hey guys, this is Fish Tank Guy 67 and today I'm tearing down the 10 gallon. <clears throat> um as you see I already started. Sorry I have to be quiet today. Um but as you see I already started. Um I actually got half of it out right now, but the reason I'm tearing it down is because if you see the first video it has quad T5's CO2 injection um, over here, and I also added fertilizers, so, um, one day I actually left, <clears throat> left the light on for a few days, because I was gone, and I didn't turn it off, but I did take off the CO2, so, because I was planning to turn it off for the week, but, since I didn't turn it off when I came back, there was a lot of algae all over the place and I, I cleaned it out a lot and there was still I couldn't get some of it off so instead I went to the store and bought some Amano shrimp and a quarry cat or auto cat sorry to try to help with some of the stuff like the driftwood which I scrubbed down yesterday and <clears throat> right now it's drying off. I'm I think I'm gonna boil that maybe later today or tomorrow. But I was actually planning to use this gravel in there, but that was before the moss. Oh yeah, when I brought the fish in, there was I started seeing moss, so I think it came in with the shrimp because they live in a moss tank. That's why I scrubbed down the driftwood. So there was moss all over the place. The gravel had a ton and I kind of gave up on it because I couldn't get rid of it. And that so I'm tearing it down now. I'm gonna boil or rinse out and then boil this gravel and try to use it in there so I can make some slope for the so the layout looks nicer. And I also need to move this. So I can put the new aquarium over here, because two aquariums right next to each other, I didn't really like it. And also this, I don't know, but if I try to zoom out, you can see how big that stand is compared to that. So it's, I thought it was going to be really top heavy, but it's been set up for a year and there's no dipping. And it's, I thought it would be unstable but it's pretty stable so but I had to tear it down anyway because of the stand and where it is and also to move that here so I wasn't really disappointed about it so I think I'm just gonna take the gravel out and show you when I'm done so I just finished moving removing all the gravel out of here it's in this bucket right now um, if you can see, it looks pretty clean from what it used to look like. Most of the algae looks like it's gone. There's, um, there might still be some moss in it, so I'm still, I'm going to boil it to try to kill it off. So I won't take any chances of it getting in there. And with the plants, I actually can't get the moss off. Um, I don't know if... You can see those don't really have, or that one leaf has a lot of it. But it's just this moss. I tried scraping it off and it started ripping the leaves. And here are the fish. They're a little scared right now. Um, I put some stress coat and I'm just covering it up so they don't get too scared. And I know this is a small container. It's just for a few hours, so... I'm going to move in my, in my other 10 gallon, it's in the other room, <clears throat> sorry, it's in the other room, and they should do fine. For the 46 gallon, I actually found the box with the supplies, this is, oh, uh, I already used it, so it's kind of dirty still, but this is a 150 watt heater, and an aqua clear 50, I think, power filter, so... That's enough for this because that's for 50 gallons and this is 46. So it's a little bit more. 
and I think I already have all the <clears throat> all the supplies because I have the light stand, um, gravel, fi filter, and heater. I can get a background, but I don't need one. So, but I'm just, I'll just get it so I can hide some of the wires. For this, I just took a paper towel to try to take some of it out and dried it off. <clears throat> dried it off. I'm probably just gonna um store this somewhere because I don't really need it for anything. Because as I said, those are going in the other ten gallon. The plants are probably just gonna throw them away since they're bad. And if you actually know, I don't know if it is algae or if it's moss. Um, if anyone knows what that is, can you please tell me and tell me how to get rid of it? <clears throat> because I really don't know what it is. I think it's moss and it just came with the fish. The shrimp. The shrimp in particular because they live in a moss tank. For the driftwood, I think I'm just going to dry that off and pull it nubius because it's practically dead. Um, it might still live if I put it under some light, but... I think I'm just going to dry that off and put it somewhere. Maybe in, in the new tank, but I think I'll get a new piece of driftwood. So, um, that's it for the video today. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe. If you have any questions, please just leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.